Hello, Ms. Reynolds, and thank you for taking this interview with Reach a Student today. I have a few questions that I would like to ask you. What subject do you teach, and how long have you been at Windermere Prep? Um, I teach Latin, and this is my second year at WPS, and it's wonderful, and I love it. What made you select Latin as your area of focus? Well, um, when I was in high school, the foreign language that I selected was Latin because uh, the woman who taught it was a close friend of our family. So I didn't really think about why I was taking Latin other than, oh, I would really like my teacher. And then I just loved it, and I wished that I hadn't put off taking my foreign language until my senior year. Then um, in college, I took it um, to continue my studies for the liberal arts college and realized, boy, I like this better than what I'm majoring in. So I went that route and decided it'd be nice to be a Latin teacher. Um, since you teach Latin, can you tell us about the Latin Club and what it does for students? Sure. So it's actually a junior classical league. Um, and it gives students an opportunity to, if you really enjoy uh, Roman culture, or especially the Latin language, it gives you an opportunity to do academic competitions, um, both regionally and on a state level as well. So if you're the type of person that you're really competitive, but maybe you're not so thrilled about sports, or maybe you are, it's fine if you are, um, it gives you an opportunity to do academic competitions to really show off your skills, and who doesn't like showing off? Mm -hmm. um, what can students do to better prepare for your class? I think the main thing is to make sure you're comfortable with all grammar concepts. Because vocabulary, yes, it's important to know that. But you can always go back and look up vocabulary. If you know the grammar, then you're able to plug in, um, plug in the information to the holes where it belongs. It's kind of like knowing how all the puzzle pieces fit. So vocab, I would say, is about the 30 to 40 percent of the battle. And the remainder of it is just know those grammar concepts. How do you think Latin can benefit students overall in their studies? Sure. So this is one of the first things that my lessons are about. Why Latin? Okay, so SAT testing every year, students who are um, Latin students do better on the SAT uh, by an average of about 40 to 50 points on the verbal portion of the SAT. So that's nice already. It also helps you if you go into the medical field, also law. Um, but that aside, I think it gives you a better understanding of the English language. You can apply the grammar concepts to whatever uh, language you study. I mean, the subject of a sentence is still um, the noun that performs the verb. And so when you walk into a language class, you have all this grammar background that really helps you. Um, but I really like watching students put pieces together. For example, when you explain, oh, the word for feather is pinna, and this is where we get the word pen, because it's from a quill. Oh, we're not just randomly assigning words here. What is the Latin Forum, and what might students present there? Latin Forum. So there's Latin Regional Forum and Latin State Forum. Regional Forum um, is, a, is a competition that's going to take a couple of schools, all the schools, JCL programs in our assigned region, and they'll do the academic competitions there, taking different tests. Uh, Kurtaman, which is kind of like Latin family feud. Um, and then on the state level, it's basically the same thing, but uh, more intense, more competition, and it's over the course of two or three days. It's an overnight thing. People really enjoy that. Can you give us a story or lesson you learned from your own experience as a student? When I was in elementary school, and I was in the fourth grade, there was a contest to see who could write our school song. Um, and all the parents and teachers were participating, and I took it upon myself to write my own lyrics for the school song. And it could be either to the tune of You're a Grand Old Flag, or I forget the other song actually. But anyway, I picked your grand old flag and I wrote out some lyrics and that was actually the song that was chosen to be the elementary school song, which they still sing to this day. So I guess what I'm saying is my advice would be, no matter what your age or where you perceive your skill level to be, you should do the things you think you could really be successful at, or at least try. Do you have any tips you think could benefit students at when you're in prep? Yes. Own your learning. If you think you're falling behind in something, you probably are. You know better than anybody how you're performing in your class. 
stop and think about why. Stop and think about how you can change that. Because whatever course you're on, if it's not where you want to be heading, it's up to you to change it. And your teachers are always here to help you, always, really and truly. Thank you for taking the time to talk with us today. Absolutely. Thank you.